Hello my dear students in this lecture we are going to understand pyroelectric sensors Now my dear students here pyroelectric sensor means the pyroelectricity is the ability of certain materials to generate an electric potential when they are heated or cooled Now let us say if you have one material let us say this is a material right and if i heat this material or cool this material on the other hand both way means if i heat this material temperature is going to increase if i cool this material temperature is going to decrease because of heating and cooling of this material the electric potential is generated here let us say on this side the positive terminal is generated and on this side negative terminal is generated that means the potential difference is generated and the current starts flowing this is called pyroelectricity the principle is called pyroelectricity means whenever any component is heated or cooled because of change in temperature the potential difference or electrical potential is generated so here in simple language we can say the change in temperature modifies the position of atoms because of change in temperature the position of atom is modified slightly within the crustal structure within this component only within the component only the position of atom is slightly modified because of change in temperature such that polarization of material here you have to write off right polarization of material changes which finally brings the voltage to exist in the crustal that is whenever temperature of the any crustal changes then atoms in the crustal are little bit modified because of this there will be a polarization of the material and there will be a voltage difference between the two terminals or two ends right and because of this current starts flowing the same effect is called pyroelectricity so my dear students in examination you have to write few points regarding pyroelectric sensors whatever point i have dictated here the same point i have written here see pyroelectric sensors are thermal detectors thermal means heat either we are heating or cooling the same is called heat right don't worry cooling means heat removing and heating means heat adding both are called thermal detectors pyroelectric sensors are thermal detectors this is the first point second is when subjected to small temperature fluctuations they can give rise to the temporary voltage just now we have seen when your temperature changes there will be a voltage right or there will be a change in voltage then the change in temperature modifies the position of atoms slightly within the crustal structure and the polarization of the material changes just now we have seen because of change in temperature there will be a slight change in position of the atoms or molecules and because of this the polarization of the material changes and because of this there will be a generation of voltage difference this leads to the development of temporary voltage across the crystal this temperature gradient can be created by absorption of light see temperature gradient is nothing but change in temperature with respect to distance see as i am heating let us say i am heating from this side let us say this is my heating source right heating source so definitely on this zone temperature will be high temperature zone this will be the high temperature zone and this will be the low temperature zone means as location changes temperature changes definitely let us say here temperature is t1 which is more than temperature t2 at this location which is more than temperature t3 at this location which is more than temperature t4 at this location means as location changes temperature changes the same is called temperature gradient and this temperature gradient can be created by absorption of light also see by absorption of light in solar water heater you might have seen solar water heater in solar water heater we are heating the water means we are creating temperature gradient by absorbing the sunlight therefore the same point i have written here this temperature gradient can be created by absorption of light also again the pyroelectric sensor is an infrared sensitive optoelectronic component which are specifically used for the detecting electromagnetic radiations in the wavelength range of 2 to 14 micrometer right whenever the electromagnetic radiation range or whenever the radiation range is between 2 to 14 micrometer then only this pyrometer sensors can sense the light right this point i have written here now my dear students this pyroelectric sensor can be used as a bolometer let us see the application of pyroelectric sensor as a bolometer here i have shown the diagram of bolometer here you can see bolometer there is a pyroelectric sensor this is a pyroelectric sensor on this pyroelectric sensor we will put one absorber 
and generally my dear students absorber is a black body it is a black body because black body is a perfect absorber and whatever the radiations coming from the sun these radiations are incident on this absorber and this absorber will absorb the all the radiations coming from the sun and as soon as this absorber absorbs the radiation coming from the sun the temperature will increase there will be a heat generation that means whenever the incident radiations are absorbed by the absorber the heat is generated and because of this heat the temperature will increase and because of this the voltage difference or potential is created across the two terminals or two ends and so my dear students if i use here voltmeter to measure the voltage you will see this change in voltage right and the same is called pyrometric barometer and my dear students with measuring the current or voltage i can measure the intensity of this radiation energy so in your examination you can write all these points the the bolometer is a device used for detecting and measuring the power of incident electromagnetic radiation to find out the power of this incident electromagnetic radiation the bolometers are used now pyroelectric sensor can be used as a temperature sensor element here pyroelectric sensor is used for sensing the temperature right or for sensing the voltage change due to change in temperature in pyroelectric bolometer the radiation is made incident on the pyroelectric sensor here in this pyroelectric bolometer the radiation is incident on the pyroelectric sensor and there is a absorbing material so that this incident radiations are absorbed by this pyroelectric sensor right then as it absorb the radiation heat is generated and its temperature changes yes definitely we have stated the same thing this change in temperature gives rise to the temporary voltage across the pyroelectric sensor because of this rise in temperature or change in temperature there will be a temporary voltage across the pyroelectric sensor right this voltage change can be calibrated to measure the power of incident radiation by calculating this change in voltage we can calculate the incident radiation power now my dear students in this lecture we have seen the pyroelectric sensor now whenever we are using pyroelectric crystal we are getting potential difference as well as in previous lecture we have seen the piezoelectric sensor and whenever we are using piezoelectric crystal then also we are getting potential difference you can watch my previous lecture so my dear students here in both cases that is in pyroelectric crystals as well as in piezoelectric crystals as well as in piezoelectric crystals right in both crystals we are getting potential difference that is voltage difference which is also called potential difference which is also called electromotive force or emf right so my dear students this emf is responsible for the generation of current or this emf is re responsible for the current flow means my dear students whenever we are getting potential difference we are getting current so my dear students here my question is that can we use this pyroelectric crystals or piezoelectric crystals for the generation of electricity the answer is no though the current is flowing or potential difference is getting but we cannot use this pyroelectric crystals as well as piezoelectric crystals for the generation of electricity let us understand the reasons why we cannot use them for the generation of electricity so write down why pyroelectric crystals and piezoelectric crystals cannot be used for generation of electricity very first point is for both pyroelectric crystals as well as piezoelectric crystals the resistance is very high it is high resistivity this is the first point see we are getting voltage difference which is called electromotive force which is written as v or e which is nothing but voltage difference is nothing but v is equal to ir that already we have learned and my dear students we are definitely getting this voltage difference but here this resistivity or resistance is very high as this resistance is very high so this current is very low so my dear students all the voltage difference is gone for the resistance and current is very less available for the power generation but for useful work we need current right so so even though the voltage generated is not negligible this voltage difference is not negligible if we draw the current which we need to do the useful work all the voltage will be lost across the internal resistance this voltage is lost for the resistance only there is very less current these pyroelectric crystals as well as piezoelectric crystals are useful for the sensors only it is fine for the sensors only but not meaningful for the generation of power or for the generation of electricity so my dear students this is our last lecture in physics 2 so 
I hope you understood all the six topics very properly. Thank you, my dear students, and I wish you all the best for your future.